This is the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Iceberg. Essentially, it's a dead meme that serves to catalog bizarre theories and obscure facts from the JoJo series. As you venture deeper below the iceberg, it will progressively get more baseless, obscure, and deranged. At the tip of the iceberg, there's a lot of pretty well-known and inoffensive theories, and some real crazy shit at the bottom. If you're a degenerate anime only, don't worry, I will be giving timestamps to skip spoilers for part 6 and beyond. There is a lot of shit to get through here, so without further ado, let's get into it. We'll begin at the tip of the iceberg and work our way down. These are theories and facts that anyone who's at least read JoJo once before has probably heard of. This is a quite infamous idea that the person who saved young Josuke and inspired his sick hairdo was actually Josuke time traveling back in time to save his younger self. Personally, I believe this was intended by Araki and tied into the Bites the Dust arc in some way, but it was ultimately dropped. Pretty simple, people believe that Star Platinum is the spirit of Jonathan Joestar reincarnated to help Jotaro finish off Dio once and for all. There are some similarities in their designs, as well as this line. From what I know of this, Araki actually was planning to have Fugo betray Passione after he left the gang near the middle of Fento Rio. But Araki was depressed at the time, and decided that he didn't want to make part 5 even darker than it already was, so he changed it. Many people believe that Fugo's betrayal arc was replaced by Chocolata, since Purple Haze and Green Day's abilities are almost identical. So this theory comes from the scene where Dio is seen using Hermit Purple near the beginning of Stardust Crusaders. Apparently, Araki actually planned for Dio to have all the stands seen in Part 3 at his disposal, but that would have been OP as fuck, so instead he just got Sawoldo. We're getting a little bit weirder here, these theories are a lot more interesting. I want to believe this one just because it's funny. The idea is that Joseph can use Hermit Purple without actually smashing a camera and has been destroying them for no reason. There have been a couple stand users who use a sort of trigger to activate their stands, such as Ringo Rodigan shooting his watch or Rohan showing you pages of his manga, but it's stated that they're not actually necessary to activate the stand. When Cars was stuck in space for all those decades, he went insane, and after finally crash landing on Earth, he believed himself to be the alien Mikitaka. This would obviously explain his wacky abilities and why the stand arrow did not pierce his skin. Simple piece of trivia that Yukako from Diamond Does Not Crash is actually the first Yandere archetype character. Araki made her this way as a subversion of the typical idealized ditzy love interest usually seen in manga at the time. This is a really interesting theory that I interpret as Dopio not actually having split personality disorder, but rather being an innocent kid that could not handle the powerful King Crimson. Kind of like Holly in Part 3, and this manifested in a way that King Crimson could take over Dopio's body as the personality of Diavolo, causing the change in appearance and personality. This theory states that the reason for Valentine's drastic sudden change in appearance from Trump to Chad was actually from changing bodies with a more attractive Valentine from an alternate universe using D4C. Others believe that this is an effect from fusing with the torso of the Holy Corpse, but honestly, this is just Araki's habit of completely changing how a character looks partway through manga without any explanation. With his tendency to not show emotion and assume people know how he feels just by looking at him, and also not showing outward affection to his friends and loved ones, some people have interpreted this as Jotaro having autism. People believe that Bruno is actually a Sapelli, mainly because he's Italian, he takes on a mental role to the Jojo, and dies a tragic death making a grand sacrifice. 
This one's actually pretty interesting. So, everyone knows the iconic 7-page Muda. However, when it was originally published in Weekly Shonen Jump, it was actually only 5 pages, with this double-page spread being added to the volume releases. This could give a logical explanation to how Joseph has a near supernatural ability to perfectly predict what his opponent is going to say in Battle Tendency. Your next line is, wait, that's retarded. His stand didn't manifest until Dio awoke. But this actually has some evidence to back it up. From an afterward Iraqi rope for Jujonium, he actually implies that Joseph had Hermit Purple within him during Part 2, but he just wasn't aware of it since it hadn't taken a physical form yet. Similar to the Valentine theory, it's believed that the Sandman we see in the beginning parts of Steel Ball Run and the Soundman who becomes a servant of Valentine and attempts to assassinate Johnny and Gyro was actually a more evil version of Sandman from an alternate universe Valentine brought in after killing the Sandman we know since it seems odd for his character to work for Valentine. And that his own tribe used a white man named Sandman in Chapter 1 of Part 7. Due to the more weird, psychological horror, and the overall much different vibe of the Dust Spoke Kishibe Rohan spin-off manga, it has been theorized that they were secretly written by the legendary horror mangaka, Junji Ito. The Pillar Man obviously have some supernatural, stand-like powers, and in this page from part 7, Araki seems to heavily imply that the stone mask is similar to the stand arrow and that it is tied to the origin of the stands. It is possible that the Pillar Man had stands, but the protagonists of part 2 did not have stands themselves so they could not see them. This image of Hiroko Araki enjoying a pink jelly donut was apparently used to spread a computer virus. If you saved the image, you would infect your PC. The image was posted to 4chan, and for a period of time, if the normal image was uploaded, Adams would freak out worried that it could destroy their computer. Evidently, Pucci holds an extremely high admiration for Dio. And for Dio, he took a liking to Pucci, and he was one of the only people he saw as an equal and actually respected. They are very close friends, although to some, it seems they are very close friends. One of the craziest theories out there is that it is actually believed that Araki may be a literal vampire. This entry is not talking about the memers, but the paranormal schizotypes who unironically believe this to be a possibility. I guess Rohan really isn't a self-insert character, but it was actually Dio the whole time. There is obviously the meme that Araki is physically incapable of aging. He includes vampires, the paranormal, and disturbing in his manga and he is able to draw an impeccably high quality manga at an inhuman rate. And then, there's this. In Stardust Crusaders, the character Boingo has a stand which creates a bizarre manga which can predict the near future. In his first appearance, he predicts the death of a character who gets impaled on a phone pole. He has the number 911 written on his shirt. Creepily, Boingo's manga also shows multiple instances of two phone poles close to each other and a laughing plane flying nearby. Araki himself laughs about this in an interview. He says he finds it really creepy and says that Boingo predicted 911, 
Yeah, that surprised me. I don't understand why I drew that, honestly. Alright, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. It was pretty fun to make. And some of these theories were fascinating. Especially the more insane shit near the middle and the bottom of the iceberg. A lot of these I honestly believe, or at least think they are pretty cool concepts. I don't go super in depth on these obviously, but I am going to do videos on Jojo theories and the more obscure stuff that I find personally interesting. And I am also working on reviews for every single part of Jojo, with Battle Tendency review being almost halfway done. So subscribe to see that shit. Thanks for watching and out of the feature.